Here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city dear. Hello everybody, welcome back to 3-Way Plays. I am Justin and we are on our Bioshock Infinite and Life's Challenge playthrough. We just made it to the Hall of Heroes. We're trying to acquire the Shock Jockey Vigor. Cornelius Slate's being a dick trying to stop us, so let's keep on moving. And it looks like Slate and all of his men have killed all the employees here at the Hall of Heroes. Here in the back room, box of phone, Slate. Assassins, when our work is done. Cornelius Slate, the swift left hook of the Vox Populi. <laughs> we'll be trading Comstock's life for a new one. So be it. The Fitzroy woman and I are comrades of necessity. I doubt all the men who read in Caesar's toga would still be seen breaking bread together in peacetime. With Comstock gone, my men's past deeds will be sacred. They will claim the spoils to them. I need not live to see it. Oh. Had some enemies spawn in. Yeah, so as I was saying, it looks like Cornelius Slate and Fitzroy are working together, so him and his men are working with the Vox Populi. Let's see if we can get one shot headshots yet. No, oh, not quite. Okay, this front room is cleared. Let's move on. Comstock. Our prophet, Father Comstock, commander of the Seventh Cavalry. That man did not lead the Seventh. Hell, I don't even remember the game. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, then we'll- That tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die in the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! Oh, 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 oh. Give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor, sir, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you in wounded knee in Beijing. So Slate continues to be a dick. Let's uh just keep on the search. He said to meet him at Wounded Knee, a battle that has been mentioned several times throughout the game, Battle Wounded Knee. Uh Booker apparently part of that battle with the 7th Cavalry, with Slate as his commander, but Comstock is implying that he was also a part of the battle, and in fact the commander of the 7th Cavalry, which Booker was in. We saw that earlier in his flashback to his office. And in the corner of the room, it looks like we have a utility closet. Okay, in the corner of this closet, we do have an infusion. Let's put our health up to two. Feel better already. And a silver bar. And it looks like they were using this closet to store discarded statues of slate. Looks like they destroyed them all after he started speaking out against Comstock. See, they decapitated a few of them. Okay, it looks like we have a few options. We were told to meet him at the Battle of Wounded Knee, but my objective just updated 
to defeat Slate's men, so I assume we're about to be ambushed. Okay, let's push on into the Battle of Wounded Knee exhibit. amongst our noble dead, but when our soldiers took the field, the savage horde could only yield. You... you were there. That wounded knee. I can see it in your face. like the heroes of Sparta. I still hear the screams. This comes to me. Here's the soldier I spoke of. The kind of man Comstock pretends to be. Say if I told you true. Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me, come and look for me amongst the boxers. Who are the boxers? The Chinese. He means us to head to the other display. Okay, we have an Achilles only section. Yep. It's just a guy. That's all we have. And he was guarding a piece of gear. Head master increase critical hit damage by 50%. We were just talking about those headshots a minute ago. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to change that out, especially using this marksman carbine. So equip. I'll have to test out those headshots here in a minute. Gotta be careful walking back. We know new enemies can spawn. 
Oh. Hey, there it is. Okay, yep, we are up to a one-shot headshot with that new piece of gear. And here we have our next display, the Boxer Rebellion. What is this? It's the Boxer Rebellion. What happened there? In Peking, it was my hand that put the city to the torch. Of course, that's not how Comstock tells it. Was yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the righteous path of our prophet's holy wrath. Comstock led the Colombian troops to Peking. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and 30 of my friends! Is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? Oh, Fireman over there! Fireman? Oh god. I'm lagging. ask for this. I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. And what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? What did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. DeWitt. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. But if you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose. Okay, that's the Boxer Rebellion area cleared. Let's, uh, we'll search around for some loot and then we'll head back to the rotunda. Hopefully we will finally get to see Cornelius Slate. And another employees only area. No enemy this time, but another piece of gear. So, fire bird. Jumping from a skyline has a 100% chance to burn nearby enemies. And that is in comparison to the pants that we just got. So we will take this, but we're not going to equip it. 
is down we're not doing too bad we're still sending eight lives the rate we're going we should have made this a one lives challenge but what are you gonna do never mentioned anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. But the child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the Prophet's heir day and night. housekeeper in Comstock House. And here we have a box of phone Lady Comstock. To those who loved me, I was the most generous of souls. There was no pain I would deny them. No betrayal I would not gladly give. And when I had scorched the hearts of all who loved me, the prophet said, there is nothing you can do for which I will not forgive you. For God has granted me sight, and through his eyes, even you are loved. According to the statues, this is the reason the prophet hunts the box populi. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Yeah. 
is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. New aspect of the game, Elizabeth can now open tears for us. Elizabeth. There. I feel there's more where that came from. Whenever I get anxious, it's got a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Okay, several enemies, but with Elizabeth's newfound abilities, we can call forth a turret to assist us. So let's do that. Try that one! Turret, now! They have a turret, too. They have a turret, too. Oh god, oh got it. Shoot the rockets. Think you can stop me? I also have a rocket launcher. Traps out, couple left. Yep, triggered it. Up, 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 up. It's enough, Slade. We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! That was close. On this machine gun turret area that Elizabeth can bring in, I wonder... In this universe, whose head is this statue? Because it kind of looks like... Point that somewhere else. Okay, after looting, we didn't quite get our health all the way up, but we're looking better. Let's move forward. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. Too rare is the man who takes the stab in you and God and the sweetest fatherland. For here is the place where we revere with the heroes of our city. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts. Oh. Hey, Booker! Lord judges, I act. Up, up, up. Uh, gun. Oh god, he killed me so fast. He killed me so fast. Oh god, oh god, he's fat. Oh my god! Uh, where is he? Crows! Crows? Crows! <laughs> uh, oh god! Ah, uh, it stuns him! Rock out! Rock out! Uh, 
Ah! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. And on the tin soldier that we just killed, a crank gun. Pretty cool. Got some med kits. Go ahead. Go ahead. And a nice little touch here. We have a miniature version of the tin soldier with a note from Slate saying, Love Slate. And we've got some feet grits here on the ground leading from this maintenance room. Can you get this open? Keep a lookout. All done. And I think that we may have found the shock jockey. The whole place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Well, that's unfortunate. We also have a safe with a five lockpick requirement. I don't really like opening these. It's usually just money. I don't like to waste my lockpicks. I suppose there could be an infusion or something in there, but we're going to skip it. I would presume that if Slate took the shock jockey, that maybe these are his favorites, so we should follow them. Is that? Oh. Slate. He's here. What the hell did he do that? coming, Booker. But our lives won't satisfy him. Oh, no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits. Oh. Oh, God. Is 
that all you can muster, soldier? Come on now, DeWitt! Don't disappoint the boys! More? <laughs> oh god, they got another robot? Oh god. Rejoice or death has oh god. Don't hold back, And it looks like he inadvertently charged the power conductor. So the doors are now open. And in a utility closet that he also opened, we have a box of phone and an infusion. My men and I are doomed. Doomed as noble Custer was at Little Bighorn. But we shall not yield to Comstock and his tin soldiers. My scout has seen him. Booker DeWitt is coming here to the hall. DeWitt. We called him the White Engine of Wounded Knee for all the grisly trophies he claimed. A man such as he might just grant us the peace we seek. And an infusion. Health up to three. Up ahead, we have Slate. Still being a dick. Oh. have a door up ahead. I looked up the statue though and there is some stuff up there. Okay, collect shock jockey from Slate. Sitting at this fountain. You're not done here, soldier! Eat everything that's on your plate! Finish it! You're a tin man now! A tin man! Stock's men will surely take him. Did you ever get used to it? The killing. Faster than you can imagine. Jesus. 
what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me, the better. Okay, everybody, I think that is enough for today. That was the Hall of Heroes and Cornelius Slate dealt with. Next time, we will continue to push through the city back to the First Lady airship. We now have acquired the Shock Jockey. We have everything we need to board the airship and take Elizabeth to Paris. Before we go, I just wanted to say to everybody that watched this video that everybody here at Throughway Plays genuinely appreciates every single person who takes the time out of their day to watch our content. If you guys like what we're doing, please subscribe and leave us a comment and let us know what you'd like to see us do next. Until next time, I've been Justin, this has been Three Way Plays, and we hope to see you all again at the next video. Thank you very much, and goodbye.